Minecraft 101 Survival. Uh, you might remember that last episode we found this little nook in the side of a mountain, a little cave area, and we did a little bit of mining. I came back offline and did a little more mining just to get us started, and I've actually added a little enhancement here. You can see I've added stairs just because it makes the up and down uh, smoother when you're going down into your mine. It just saves me jumping when I come back up. Just a simple little thing that you can do to make your life easier if you're going to do a lot of mining. Um, see, I also showed you this, this overlay screen, which allows you to see how high up you are. As a reminder, that 33 right there, you want to get down to level 12 when you're mining. That's the goal when you're uh, doing this. So keep going a little bit here but this is a cave so that kind of slows us down a little bit on the going down to 12 because we have mined our way down and found a cave like I said in the last episode those bat sounds meant that we were close to one and it looks like we found one so Caves can be a little tricky. Uh, let me check. In your settings, you can go to peaceful, and that shuts off any hostile mobs. We're going to actually put it back onto an easy. Um, you can go to normal or hard, which means you'll get tons of monsters. Um, we'll stick to easy for now, since we don't have a lot of uh, weapons and so on. Oops, wrong button. Um, this looks like a pretty big cave. There's quite a lot of stuff in here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put down some torches. Because torches give us light, and light keeps the monsters from spawning. And it just makes it a little safer while we're mining that we won't get attacked, hopefully, by uh, you know, roaming critters here. Uh, so we'll check it out a little bit. Okay, looks like it goes around in circles here. I hear a bat. Um, as you can see, caves tend to wander quite a bit. This one huh, goes in a big circle. Cool. But now that we're here, see this stuff up here in the ceiling that's pink? That is iron ore. You can see you pick it up as a block. It says iron ore on it. You can only mine that with a stone pickaxe. So you want to make sure you've got a, your stone pick. Um, iron is really useful for a lot of things. So you really want to collect as much of that as you can. It's quite common at the mid-level um, areas where you can mine. You don't have to go all the way down to 12 to find iron ore. It's kind of one of the more common things to find. Coal is probably the most common, and then the iron is the next most common. we we'll gather up a little bit more coal, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time collecting coal because that's something I can do off camera and uh, not waste your time watching that. We'll go down here a little ways and see what else there is to find. One of the things you can do when you need to get around and climb is just place blocks. It's a right click to place the block. Right click to place a torch, if I didn't mention that before. Oops, not quite high enough. Wow, this cave goes pretty high up into the up into things here. I'm just going to go, I'm going to collect this iron, but I'm just going to light things up, like I said, because that will keep things from spawning and wreaking havoc. Holy cow, that scared me. <laughs> that would be a zombie that I just heard. And I also hear a skeleton. I'm not sure where they're hanging out. I don't see them yet. They may be in another section of the cave that we haven't reached yet. Gonna go 
go ahead and collect this iron. Sometimes you'll hear the monsters like that and they're just behind a wall. Oh dear, that was a pick breaking. Remember I mentioned the durability. This little green line at the bottom under your tools tells you how much uh, life you have left in your tools. I happen to have a spare pick, so I just switched to my spare. Um, hmm. So we'll go back down into our, oh I see some more iron over here. So I'll head back down this way. This here is gravel. You can use your pick to collect it, but it's um, a little hard on your pick, so it's better to use your shovel. And gravel, as well as sand, falls when you when you, things are mined from underneath it. So you want to not be under the gravel when you're mining. If you see gravel, you don't want to stand under it. And that actually brings me to a um, pretty well-known rule of Minecraft. Never mine straight up or straight down. Because there's always the chance that if you're mining up, that you'll mine into gravel or water or lava or you know something dangerous. Same thing. When you're mining straight down, you could mine yourself into a hole and fall and die. Which, you know, kind of stinks. So you don't want to do that if you can help it. Um... Oops, I missed a piece of iron, which is really easy to do since there's a lot of it around. Sometimes it kind of hides in little nooks like this, but you can always just get in here and pick it up. Ah, there's that gravel. Like I said you don't want to be standing un standing underneath that when you mine. So there. We got quite a bit of iron. Let's see how many we got. We got 28 pieces. That's quite a lot. Which is really good. You want as much iron as you can get. It's um, really useful. As I said, for quite a lot of things. I don't know if they went this way before. Looks like there's a river down there. And some lava. Holy cow, this is a big cave. Um, again, you want to watch out for the lava. It, it will burn you. It will catch fire and you'll take damage. Um, you might notice my movements are a little uh, uncoordinated. That's because I do use a mouse pad. I don't use a mouse when I play Minecraft. I use my touch pad. Um, unlike a lot of people who play, they use a proper mouse, which is probably a little bit easier. And that right there, that's a bat. And there's no real point to bats. They're just obnoxious little things that squeak at you and hang out in caves. Holy cats, this is a big cave. And it looks like we found some pretty interesting things in here. This here is called redstone. I didn't plan to get to that today, but it looks like we found some. And that would be gold which we cannot mine because we don't have an iron pickaxe yet, we just have a stone pickaxe. So I'm going to leave that for now. Same with the redstone. You could try to mine it, but it'll just break and vanish and you won't be able to pick it up. So we'll wait and come back for that when we have some uh, more advanced tools to be able to collect it properly. In the meantime, we'll just take the rest of this iron because that's the stuff we need to make Oh, all kinds of things. Tools and armor. There's quite a lot of iron in this cave. That's not... Hmm, that wouldn't have been good. Yeah, try not to jump down any holes into the lava, because that would be a bad thing. Um, as I said, iron is really useful, so you want to catch as much of that as you can. Hopefully I'm not too lost here. Caves can be a little tricky because it is really easy to get lost, which it appears that I have done. It's kind of a running joke with my kids. I tend to get lost in real life too, so it's nothing new really. There's a lousy bat again. There's a piece of my cobble, so I'm guessing that my way out should be maybe up in this direction. Whoops, that's not where I want to go. Huh, might as 
also grab this iron one right here. In the interest of time, I'll just skip any more that I see. For now, again, I can mine off camera without um, making these videos ridiculously long to watch. That does not look like the way out. But I hear that skeleton again, so I can't be too far from the way out. Don't think I went up there. I will probably cut most of this wandering around out so that you don't have to watch me get lost. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing that I get lost this easily. I really honestly do. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I blame my teenagers. Uh, moms and dads, like you can understand what I'm coming from when I say that they tend to uh, kill off brain cells. Aha, there's my stairway. Now, for safety, so I don't get things following me home, like the skeletons that we heard down there, I'm going to just block this off. Oops, that won't work, because that... There. I can just, you know, break these pieces and go back in any time to finish mining and checking out the, the rest of the goodies down there. But I don't want skeletons or zombies, you know, coming up my stairway and following me home, so... Now comes to why we needed a furnace. Um, I'm take that iron, all that iron ore, and put it in the furnace. And I'm going to add a few more pieces of coal, which is well, a good thing we had all that coal. Because when you cook iron ingot or iron ore, you get iron ingots. And that's what you use to make better tools and armor and so on. Now while that cooks, I just, oh, I don't have a sword yet. I should, uh, I've got two of these already, so I'm going to go ahead and make a sword before I go outside. Just so I can, why am I doing that? Did that one. There we go. Stick, two pieces of iron, and you've got yourself a sword. Which is really useful when it comes time, oh, it's dark outside. Well, when it comes time to hunt or fight monsters, it's really useful. So since it's dark out, well... That weird noise you just heard is actually a cave noise. You'll hear that anytime you're near a cave, so that's just a weird Minecraft thing. It does let you know uh, when you're around caves. Oops, I didn't mean to pick up my pick. And so it can be kind of useful if you're just out wandering around and you want to find a cave, you hear those noises, you know to look for one. I'm just going to come out here. And since I'm a little low on food, I just ate my last piece of bread. We'll uh, maybe come out here and kill some piggy. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. <laughs> Pigs can take fall damage. It's kind of useful sometimes when you knock them off a cliff down here and we'll pick up the meat. And those little glowy orbs that you keep seeing, those are called XP or experience points. And you can see right here I've got a little bar that shows you where my experience is at. Um, killing mobs, mining coal, fighting monsters, all those things will give you XP points. And uh, yeah, since this little piggy is being so kind and coming right at me, I'll go ahead and get him too. That gives me a little bit more food. There's quite a bit of water out here, which is kind of nice. And that also gives me an opportunity to show you one of the other things that we can do if I can find some grass, because I don't believe we collected any seeds yet. As you can see, there's a lot of ferns in this biome. They're all over the place. But what we're looking for is actually grass, which is a little bit different. See, that's a fern there. Those are actually the taller ferns. There's two sizes of fern. There's the tall ones like that that are two blocks tall. 
and then there are shorter ones. But this is grass. And I know it seems a little bit pointless to just be breaking the grass like that, like you're mowing the lawn. But what I'm hoping for is that, something like that to happen. And you can see that that grass block dropped some seeds. And uh, we'll get a couple of those if we can. Sometimes it takes a little while. Sometimes you get like a ton of seeds right away. I'm not going to waste too much time looking for seeds. Yes. Gathering resources is fun when you're actually playing, but watching somebody gather resources, not so much. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing that kind of thing on camera. Um, I'm going to get back down here to our... I'm hearing a zombie. I'm not seeing a zombie, so I'm not sure where he's hanging out. And I also hear a skeleton, which is really strange. And it makes me wonder if there's another cave, like, right nearby here. I might actually be standing on top of a cave. That might be why I'm hearing zombies and skeletons. Because, as I said before, they do tend to hang out in the caves. There is another cave right over here. That might be why I'm hearing them. Oh yeah, I see one moving around in there. I don't know if you can see that, but see where there's a cave right here? And, ooh, that zombie's really close. Oh, and there's a skeleton. Hello, dude. And he will shoot at us if he can, and there's the zombie. They will not come out into the light usually. They will chase you if they can. They won't normally just come out into the light because they will burn when they come out into the light. So they'll stay down there and probably and be obnoxious. Fortune, so you can see them a little bit better. Oh, now he's shooting at me. Oh, there's another skeleton. See him back there? See him way back there? And there you can see the skeleton really well. Um, I can get a little closer. Whoops, he might be able to kill this guy. Aha, I killed a skeleton. And that gave me some goodies. And I'm going to get out of here before the zombie gets after me. Okay, this is why we need a sword. And now we're going to get out of here because that skeleton's getting pretty obnoxious. He's still shooting at me. And now he's coming after me. Oh no, and I died. Whoops. Okay. And now you can see on my screen it says I was shot by a skeleton. <laughs> now, I did not lose all my inventory because I use a a thing called keep inventory and I'll show you how you do that you hit the slash button and you type keep or I'm sorry game rule space keep capital I inventory space true once you type in that command if you die you're not gonna lose all your stuff that you're carrying around with you see I still have all my items Without that, you can uh, you can lose all your stuff because what'll happen is where you died, which would be you know right over here because we I died right in front of this cave. Um, all my stuff would be sitting here, floating, and I'd have to go back over here where the skeleton is still waiting for me in order to get my stuff back, which would kind of stink. Now he's running away, and I'm not really sure why because that's kind of unusual. Behavior. They usually come after you, not away. I think it's because I'm on easy. You can see that he dropped an arrow. I am going to get out of here because there's probably more things in there that I don't really want to deal with until I get some armor made. So that was our exciting little foray into um, caves. here and now that we've killed a couple of monsters I'll show you some of the loot that they drop. Um, skeletons drop bones and once in a blue moon they drop an, a bow which is a really nice find and they usually drop arrows which makes your bow actually useful. 
Um, your arrows can just be anywhere in your inventory. You don't have to have them in your hot bar. In order to use a bow, you hold down right button and release to fire. You can pick up your own arrows. You can't pick up now if a skeleton shoots an arrow at you, you can't pick that up again. If you shoot your own arrow, you don't hit anything but a wall, you can just pick it up again. This bow is pretty damaged. Um, it's, you can see it says uh, durability 94 out of 384. That means it's, it's pretty broken, but it's still useful. So I'll just put that up here for now. Um, so the thing that about bones is you can use them to make bone meal, which will be useful later on for, for some other things. And the bones themselves are also useful, and I'll show you why in another video. For now, I'm going to check on our, our iron, which has finally gotten done being cooked. Um, oops, since there's still a little bit of fire left, I'm going to go ahead and throw those pork chops in. There might be enough to cook a pork chop. No sense in wasting the fuel. And we're going to use this iron to make ourselves some armor. Because armor will protect us from things like skeletons and zombies and um, other things that might attack us. We can make a helmet, chest plate, we can make leggings. And you can also make boots. Now the easiest way to put these things on is to just select them in your hotbar and right click and it'll automatically put it on. And you can see that adds protection down here. That's what this armor bar is for. Another way you can do that is you can just do this, put them in your armor slots. Armor has durability, just like uh, tools. You can see that it added the armor to my little person. So now I'm, I'm all armored up and ready to go. So that was a pretty productive uh, day, I think. We killed our first monster. We gathered some resources, and we've got some armor going on. Uh, next time I'll make a, I should make us an iron pick. Um, next time maybe we'll go back to the cave, we'll do some more exploring. Um, one of the really fun things to do is do some exploring, so we'll, we'll go check out more of the world. Um, and I'll try to come up with some more interesting things for us to do. Uh, the first few days of Minecraft are generally uh, collecting um, as many resources as possible. I'm a collector. I like to just go out and collect resources. I like to collect wood, um, coal. Uh, that's the part I actually really enjoy. Um, things to build a house. This is our little hidey hole, but eventually we'll want to build a proper house. Um, I'll show you what we're going to do with those seeds next time. I think we'll make ourselves a little garden. Probably right out here, because it's a good spot for it. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll just do some cool stuff. So until next time, thanks for watching.